Is this an agenda for a psychedelic a Judaism? I want to make it very clear that from a Torah perspective, the, the interest in the, the pineal gland and its production of DMT is the model that it provides. It allows us to, to see things in the Torah that are there, and the ancient sages knew them, but for various historical reasons, uh, simply it wasn't time yet. This information was not accessible. We are, according to the Jewish tradition, we are called the Dor Acharon. We are the final generation, the last generation. We are a unique generation. I refer to us as the Kundalini generation. Why? Because we've been infused with Oriental concepts, yoga, tantra, uh, serpent energy, um, psychedelic drugs coming from Western technology and uh, um, Western indigenous traditions. We have been massaged and being prepared in a very unique way. In many ways, we're the most dysfunctional generation that's ever been on this planet. We're the most confused. We've been, as, in spite of all the information, we're the most ignorant generation. Yet, we are unique. And we have been prepared, and we are being prepared for a radical different perspective of reality, a whole new mode of consciousness, which is nothing less than a return to the original higher dimensional garden of Eden and the original Adamic consciousness. It is not necessary for a, a Jew, for a rabbi, for anyone for that matter, to ingest uh, DM, DMT, to take it in its uh, natural form, ayahuasca. It's not necessary to take any psychedelic drug, if only because we have already done so. Collectively, we're, we, uh, we are all part of that contact high. It, it is the zeitgeist of what ha is happening, it's been happening, gestating for 40 years. 40 years is a unique value number, uh, 40 years in the desert, 40 years on Mount Sinai. It's, and we are now in the year 2007, it's been 40 years since the, uh, the peak of the 60s in the psychedelic experience. What, if someone has taken it, it can act as a catalyst to open up their own consciousness. Mm. The goal here, however, is to, to stimulate the pineal gland internally, and this can be done. The stimulation of the pineal gland is, can be done in a number of different ways, and they include, aside from taking a drug to stimulate it from the outside, it can be done through meditation, through, through prayer, through sexual stimulation, as well as through controlled hyperventilation. And there is a technique that I have been developing that allows a person, virtually anyone, with a simple orientation to incorporate the technique of controlled breathing together with these principles, and there is a map of how to enter into the city of Luz. There is a secret entrance. There is a way to find that entrance and then call upon the internal uh, a, a entity, as it were, the different faces and, and faces of, of the Metatronic spirit. He, there is a guide for this. We are not alone. And Metatron is nothing other, ultimately, than the soul of the Messiah. And there is a, a verse in the book of Isaiah where the Creator announces Bi'ita achishana, in its time I will hasten it, which sounds ostensibly as a contradiction. Something either comes in its time or it is hastened and accelerated. This verse, however, is a formula, and it explained, it's explained to me that there is 
an end time and there is an end process, and we have to go through all those stages. However, the distance between those stages can be accelerated. We will hit every point that's necessary for this natural growth process, but the natural growth process is being accelerated and stimulated by a divine process. This is the hand of God from above, as it were, and the hand of God from below. He's got the whole world in his hands, both from a spiritual divine perspective and from what appears to be a natural perspective. This is the fountains, the wellsprings from below, together with the gates of wisdom from above. Both are coming together to prepare all of humanity for this next stage of evolution.